audience. I'm happy to see you all here tonight. And this time I would like to talk about, you will never guess what, <laughs> chronically online philosophers. <laughs> <laughs> I guess you're all confused right now, but I can explain myself. So I happen to be a philosopher, <coughs> but not an alcoholic, not a lawyer. <laughs> Not a madman, not a village idiot or something like that, but a normal one by my education. And you know, I often see people online who are considering themselves my colleagues. So let's start with the most common category and presented by the all age groups, namely Marxist Leninists. <laughs> Hairs uh, all together with the 80 years old post Soviet people in a complete harmony of views, agreeing with everything. Communism is a bullshit delusion which, dest uh, which destroyed the lives of the millions. Well, 15 years old will uh, answer me, You just haven't seen the right one. Okay, why hasn't uh, someone built the right one? That's probably the wrong people. Yes. That's why all the wrong people should be sent to Gulag. And then the right one will finally get the job done. According to Marx and Engels, during the communist era should be no money circulation. And you know, usually these people, they're not very successful in earning money, so I guess they're one put in. And let's talk about their opponents, the traditionalists. These nice people, these innocent souls who praise tradition, who think that tradition is everything and progress is evil, who are remembering these good old days with the true values when 90% uh, of people could not read and uh, all the women stayed at home. <laughs> Despite the fact there are thousands of traditions in the world and uh, sometimes they are conflicting with each, with each other. For example, God do not understand German. If you'll be praying to God in German, he will tell you to go fuck yourself. <laughs> so you need only use Latin. <laughs> Just look at these innocent souls who are not even capable of doing evil despite the fact of thousand years of religious wars. And finally, let's talk about the most pretentious people. People who used to call themselves mystics, gurus, spiritual coaches, esoterics, and me, and intellectual, I like to call them philosophers of metaphysics. They are so <laughs> enlightened that they give zero fucks about this immanent world. They live in transcendent. And even though not all of them could define transcendent, that this doesn't prevent them from bringing enlightenment to the masses. <coughs> That's not so difficult to become a metaphysician. Just two months retreat to Bali, and you know everything, and sometimes one mushroom session with shaman is enough. <laughs> I hope I enlightened you too today. Thank you for your attention, and 